Now, when I talk about finishing touches, you know I mean finishing touches. Little tiny glass vases. They're a nice yellow color. They're almost an amber. And I'm going to fill them with these blue orchids. These orchids are actually white. And when harvested, the florists put the orchids in a blue dye. The flower sucks it up and obviously turns this really interesting color. They make an attractive and subtle detail to the table. Next are the place cards, and I want to do something a little unusual. I've created place cards which look like sails to be placed on our rafts, and they're really easy to do. I'm taking a modeling clay. This is actually a blue plasticine, and it matches the color of the tablecloth. So I'm placing a little ball in the upper left-hand corner of each placemat. Next, I take my calligraphy pen, and I'll write someone's name, one of the guests who's coming. In a pretty open script, this is nothing formal, and I'm centering the name right into the center of the paper. This just so happens to be Nick. I hope I'm coming. And I'll take a bamboo stick. This is from a brochette that you'd use to make a maybe a shish kebab or something. And I run it through the paper. Now I'll go through the back and slide it into the paper. Now when you curve this through and place the stick through the bottom, you get the sail effect. It's caused the paper to buckle a little bit, forming what I think looks like a sail. Now when I place it in the plasticine, it's nice and tall and looks like the sail. So I'll go around the table and continue to place the sails at each place setting. Onto these very exotic flowers, banana, bird of paradise, and also halconia. These may not be readily available, but if you ask your florist or local grower, they'll be able to bring them in for a special feast like tonight. I'm placing this halconia into a galvanized metal bucket I filled with sand. I also placed these bamboo torches. They're filled with lamp oil for tonight. I'll put two on each side of the dining room. Be careful when you're using open flame. Now after I've placed the halconia, I'll add a bird of paradise. And you'll see that this already starts to look like a very simple flower arrangement. These palm leaves will also not only get in your hair, but they'll also look very attractive, just placed like this. Now you might be wondering, he's putting fresh flowers in the sand. These varieties don't need a lot of water, so I'm safe. Last touch is lava rock. I got this at the local gardeners, and I'm just going to fill in the bucket with lava rock, adding to the look and creating a very simple but stunning floral arrangement. Now, I'm not just testing out the pillows. I'm going to show you a napkin fold. Open your square napkin on a flat surface. Next, fold in the four corners into the center of the napkin. Do the exact same thing again. So bring in the new four corners into the center. Now comes the only tough part about this fold. Turn it over. So hold it and invert it. Now bring in the four corners one last time. And you'll see when you get them into the center, simply place your fingers and then reach underneath. You'll find a little tiny, almost like a pocket that you can pull up to reveal a very unusual and interesting fold. This is called an artichoke. You can also pull out an additional, I guess I'll call them a leaf, out from the back. And before you know it, you've learned a brand new and very special way of showing your napkin. Now that's not all. I'm also going to put, final touch, crystal marbles all over the table. Do you remember my original idea this was supposed to be an ocean? Well, these crystal marbles to me are like the peaks of a wave and will also give my guests one last little thing to play with while we enjoy dinner.